Hello and welcome to your daily sex IQ question at 5MI Weekly. Today's question concerns the biology of testicular cancer. <clears throat> Before sharing today's question, let's do a quick recap on what we've learned thus far from our sex IQ test. We've learned the average age people are first engaging in sexual intercourse, the percentage of men having extramarital affairs, the percentage of women who have engaged in anal intercourse, the probability of transferring HIV during intercourse, the hardiness of HIV, the biology of personal lubricants, how expansive sexual experiences are, the fallacies of gaydar, the relationship between menstruation and pregnancy, the effectiveness of birth control, and the goings-on during gynecological examinations. What will we be learning today? True or false? Teenage boys should examine their testicles, that is, their balls, regularly, just as women self-examine their breasts for lumps. Give yourself a point if you said true. 73% of Americans got this question correct in 1991, and 97% of Americans got this question correct in 2016. Most healthcare providers recommend checking a man's testicles to be a part of every routine physical examination. However, this is rarely the case. Indeed, most testicular cancers are discovered by men themselves or their partners. Very few are discovered by physicians. Thus, physicians recommend all men after puberty do self-examinations of their testicles monthly. A testicular self-exam is best done during or after a bath or shower when the skin of the scrotum is relaxed. You should examine one testicle at a time and look and feel for any hard lumps or smooth rounded bumps or any change in the size, shape, or consistency of the testicles. It's normal for one testicle to be slightly larger than the other and for one to hang lower than the other. You should also know that each normal testicle has a small coiled tube called the epididymis that can feel like a small bump on the upper or middle outer side of the testicle. Normal testicles also have blood vessels, supporting tissues, and tubes that carry sperm. If you check your testicles monthly, you'll learn what's normal for you and you'll be able to tell when something is different. Need I say more about the importance of testicular self-examinations? Okay, you forced me to say one more thing. In the event of the most embarrassing thing that can ever happen to a young adolescent boy getting caught masturbating by your mother, Bad Deadpool. you can quickly turn the tables and say, I wasn't masturbating at all. Instead, I was making sure I didn't have Good Deadpool. testicular cancer. That's all my time for today. Be sure to keep a running total of the number of questions you've answered correctly and the type of question you've answered correctly as well. Today's question was a biological type of question. See you tomorrow for sex IQ question number 13. A biological as well as a psychological question about penile erections.